Okay, so I'm gonna break down the sample right now. So let's get straight to it. So I'll start off with this chord progression in Xenology. All right, I don't know what it is, but the CPU is going crazy today, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down and then show you the wave file. So I start off with this chord right here, it's an A minor. So if I pitch down these, it's an A minor, but I pitched the middle note and the top note up one octave and also duplicated it. After that, I just duplicated it over, but I took this one, the C and pitched down a half step, and then I just duplicated it over again. But this time I took this note, and pitch it down right here and then i took everything over again as pretty much the chord progression after i had that i just took the top notes right here up one octave and placed it at every other beat so the effects is a, just a delay tape after that i added a portal broad preset from the distra number two bank and finally i pitched down the sample to semitones so after i had that i rendered out to a audio clip so here's what it sounds like So after that I duplicated this whole audio file down here and I made it unique and I pitched up a whole octave, time stretched it a little bit and then I also reversed it. Yeah and I chopped it up into some sections that I liked and I got these right here. So I just layered them and here's what it sounds like together. I also zoomed in here, highlighted them, and dragged these two things to the side to prevent the clicking from coming in. So as you can hear, there's no clicking, it's very clean sounding. Next up, I went to Electra X. I went to Black Market Electra X Bank, this one right here. And I went with the Scott Storage lead, and I made this simple pattern with it. For the effects, I just added a Valhalla Vintage Verb and some EQ. And I also made a Xenology pattern to go along with the Electra X pattern. And I went with this preset sweep pad 4 in the basic synth bank. After that, I went to Analog Lab and I went with the Drunken Bells by Kill September. It's in his Opia bank right here this one and i just made the first a minor chord as in the first progression we got with the middle note and the top note up one octave i used the same delay tape on the effect the same reverb again on the effect and a little eq right here boosted some of the high high frequencies but yeah you know just a chord to add some punch and add some energy at the beginning of like the bar or every other bar and after that i got this accent from coop the truth ascension one shot kit and i just pitched it up 400 semitones and placed it out like this and for the arrangement it's pretty simple i just had all the sounds in the beginning removed some sounds here here brought back some sounds here and took out some more sounds here and for the master i added a cla3a compressor and then i added some abbey road vinyl but yeah here's the final sample if you enjoyed it leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video Thank you.